Okay, so uh, first of all, hello. <laughs> uh, my name is Yannick. Uh, this is Francois. Uh, we are French. I think you hear it already. Uh, first of all, we speak certainly a bit slowly because our English is not very, very good. Uh, so just excuse us for this. Um, today we're here to speak about uh, a software called OCS Inventory. Uh, maybe some of them, some of you, uh, know it already. Uh, some of you not. Um, my part is just to tell you a bit about OCS, uh, the genesis, where it comes from, what it's able to do. Um, François Xavier will tell you. Uh, uh, we'll talk to you about a deployment, a big deployment in a French administration. Um, Deployment about 40,000 computers. So, hi. So, what is OCS? Uh, first, OCS inventory is an application software. Uh, it has been designed to help network or system administrator uh, to keep track of the computer's configuration and software that are installed in the network. Um, basically, it's an inventory. Asset management. Um, OCS use um, it works in a client server way. Uh, it uses an agent. The agent has to be installed uh, in the machine you want to inventory uh, and runs the inventory. There is a management server. Uh, this management server, the OCS management server, um, centralizes the information that the agent sends him every day. It allows you to view inventory results, uh, the device network is active, and it allows you to create deployment package as well. Uh, this is one of the main uh, features of OCS. Uh, it makes you, it helps you to inventory your network, but it helps you to deploy packets as well. A bit of history. Uh, OCS inventory uh, started in 2001, uh, so it's quite an old software. Uh, it has been, uh, at the beginning, uh, it was to, um, it was just to cover uh, a need of the French National Police. Uh, in fact, uh, they needed at the moment a uh, uh, software to, to inventory their, their network and a solution to deploy uh, software as well. Um, the French National Police is a pretty open source, is pretty open source minded. Um, just to uh, illustrate it, uh, all their computers now are running on Ubuntu. They got a specific distribution called Genbuntu, 70,000 computers. Uh, that's quite, uh, quite a lot. Um, so, uh, at the moment in 2001, there was no open source solution to, to inventory and there was not really good uh, solution to deploy as well. So they decided to build it themselves, to write it. Uh, so they supported the development of uh, process inventory, they took some guys from the IT, uh, made the team and start to uh, writing it. It was written in Perl. Uh, there was only a Linux agent at this moment, and the web interface, which is still the same, <laughs> was done with uh, in PHP. Um, yes? It's quite still the same. The, I mean, the web interface. Okay. It's a bit ugly. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> What's well, still very, very ugly. <laughs> it's very, very. Have you ever seen OCS? I think so. Yeah, I can show you. Here is. <laughs> Sorry about that. This is very ugly. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so um, it's ugly, but it works well. Um, <laughs> this is the main purpose. Uh, it worked so well that uh, during the period from 2001 to 2006, uh, most of many big administrations, public administration in France, uh, decided to use it. So um, now I think that in uh, maybe 80% of ministry 
а, не което извънвам тъй, а, да я се аз. Education, uh, elf, uh, police, uh, same as the army, uh, there is lots of uh, big deployments. Um, it was a bit French for French. I mean, uh, most of the users at this moment were more most French user, uh, French administration, French company. Uh, there was no traduction. Uh, we took, uh, it took a lot of time for I made it, uh, you can see my English is not very good as well. <laughs> uh, in 2006, uh, there was some, some rewards. I mean, uh, the lots of company and lots of, uh, lots of administration using it. Uh, it's working well. Um, they started to speak a lot about it. Uh, there was a lot of contributors. Some of them started the traduction, translation, sorry. Uh, it was translated in Spanish, in English, uh, in German, I think now. Uh, there is some, a lot of languages now. And so they had some rewards. Uh, Trophée du Libre is a French award. Uh, Solution Linux award, it's like for German people, it's like the Linux tag when it comes. And they had the, uh, the <coughs> award of the best open source solution. Uh, and as I said, it is the most used inventory software in French public administration. Um, in 2010, uh, at the beginning, the French release uh, used to support financially the development of process inventory. In 2010, uh, they just cut the uh, cut the uh, They stopped financially support the, the, the software. They just became contributors. Uh, OCS had to find solution, um, <laughs> so they made a deal, a partnership, more than a deal. Uh, with FactorFX, which is a company uh, specializing in uh, providing service around open source solutions, but in a wide range. Um, and so now, since 2012, you can get professional support, uh, training, uh, support, consulting, specific deployment, plugin deployment, uh, development, sorry. Uh, <coughs> as a result of this partnership, uh, there was a 2.1 release uh, a few months ago uh, with some new features like weapon land, uh, an Android agent, scheduled deployment, and other stuff. But functionality, uh, as I said, OCS inventory is an asset management software. The main functionality are inventory and deployment. If I do focus on uh, the inventory part, um, the OCS agent uh, sent information like um, Everything you can get in your computer, I mean, uh, hardware, BIOS, processor, memory, whatever. Uh, network information, IP, MAC address, subnet, and so on. Uh, and software information, uh, operating system, installed software. Uh, if it's a Windows machine, you can get registry information, uh, which is very useful. Um, you need the agent to get this information. If you don't have it, uh, for example, on network device like switch, router, uh, printer, for example, you can use SNMP uh, to get information from SNMP and to inventory it. Um, if I do a small focus on deploy deployment, uh, you have to the the way of uh, of um, when, when, uh, the way it works is. Uh, it's using the agent as well, like for the inventory. Uh, in fact, when the agent uh, sends his inventory, the server answer him and say, okay, today you got something to deploy. Uh, so he gets a packet, and with this packet, he can do different things like uh, installing a software, uh, execute a command, or maybe a storage file, whatever. But you need to prepare your packet first. The architecture of uh, OCS inventory is made by um, a communication server, the Perl motor, uh, a deployment server using HTTPS, and an admin console uh, using PHP. We've seen it already. You get the agents. There is lots of agents, but um, there is two main agents used now: um, the Windows agent, for sure. Uh, most of computers are under, running under, under Windows. Uh, 
and the Unix unified agent used for Linux machine, uh, Solaris, BSD, Unix, certain Unix, and Mac, Mac OS. So. Um, this is a little schema of the way it works. It's quite very easy. Uh, as I said, there is a communication server, deployment server, administration, administration console server, and a database. It's MySQL. Uh, all the servers are working the same in the same hardware. I mean, in the same machine. Of course, it can be a VM. Um, <coughs> you get computers. These computers, I mean, it's a Windows, a Linux, and a Mac. So you get agents. And every day, every day, uh, the agent asks the server. Okay, I got some. I got something to say. Server answer and say, uh, okay, send it to me. And when you send the information, uh, normally it's inventory uh, information. The server at this moment uh, say, okay, I got something for you today. Uh, you get to deploy something. You get to uh, store this file for the moment. You get to depends of what packets you build. There is some new stuff in OCS 2.1, as I said before, uh, Android agent, it's only for inventory. Uh, Windows 7 and 8 support, because uh, there was a lot of bugs before, especially on 8. Uh, the Wacom LAN support, very useful in deployment. Uh, even if your machine is off, uh, you can deploy something. Uh, scheduled deployment, uh, before it was not possible. Uh, you get to deploy what you have prepare uh, when the agent asks for, uh, when he sends his inventory, and only at this moment. Uh, now you can say, okay, I have something for you, here is a packet, get it, um, use it, but tomorrow at night. <laughs> and uh, to come as well, to come it's not done yet, it's in test, uh, but uh, new GLPI plugin, uh, I haven't Talk. I didn't talk about GLPI, but uh, it is one of the softwares the most used with OCS. OCS uh, is doing the inventory and is uh, permit deployment, but uh, as a full asset management solution, uh, you can use GLPI. Uh, GLPI is just uh, an empty box. Uh, OCS sends this inventory in this empty box and you can manage your part, your network with, uh, with GLPI. Um, I don't know if it's very used in foreign country because most of the users I talk with about OCS just use OCS uh, in the rest of the world, but in France everybody uses it with GLPI. On the way, um, for GLPI, it can be useful to 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 build an help desk, for example. I mean, you get the inventory, and the help desk uh, needs the inventory to be, you know. Uh, in, uh, in for example, to assign a ticket to a kind of computer or a printer or, and to check the warranty and everything. SLA and everything. Um, another big improvement in uh, CS 2.1 is uh, improvement of the web service. Uh, but I will not talk about it now because Archer is going to do a workshop about that later. Uh, now, Francois will, uh, will tell you about uh, this big deployment. Okay, so uh, hello everyone. I will talk about uh, an OSS uh, inventory deployment about <coughs> I'm sorry about um, ninety thousand computers in a French um, for a French customers of us. Uh, I will speak about the project details, the agent deployment, the network infrastructure, the challenge for the deployment, and what kinds of solution we can have found to, to do that. The project details. <coughs> uh, the, the main feature is to inventory um, 
90,000 computers and 2,000 servers. Server can be both Linux and Windows uh, operating system. For the network, we have three kinds of uh, one connection. ADSL with 8 megabytes, SDSL 2 megabytes, 3G connection for the laptops, half uh, megabytes, and everything connected uh, via an MPLS network. On this network, we have kind two sizes of networks, uh, less than 50 computers, which means no server on the LAN, and uh, more than 50 computers, which means one server on the LAN. It's uh, very important for the, the rest of the lecture. And we have two, uh, two and a half, uh, sorry, 2,500 uh, networks, which means uh, a lot of networks and a lot of computers. On this land, we have two kinds of server, Windows 2K8 and Linux Debian. The main purpose is to, for the big uh, network, which is one server on the land, we need a redistribution server. A redistribution server, which means in the OCS uh, feature, it's uh, a mirror for the package to be deployed on the land. So you have a national server OCS, and for the big LAN, we have a mirror of the packages, which means the agent of the LAN will connect directly on the server to download the packages, not directly on the national server to, to gain bandwidth. <coughs> but the main feature is to use only one OCS server for the whole company, one national OCS server. The agent was already installed on all the computer, and the computer is Windows Server. The deployment of the agent. Um, the agent will be deployed via uh, Active Directory, so they use uh, a GPO, and to run a .bat a script, to run the executable, and to run it with uh, some... Um, um, Slash on, slash on. with uh, some option to download the certificate and to run it as a services and everything. You can find the script on the uh, on the wiki of OCS. The network architecture. Uh, so you have the national OCS inventory server. You have a special one we took later. You have the big LAN with the, load, the, the computer, and we have the server with the redistribution. A redistribution server in the OCS family is just a web server, just an Apache or IS, IIS in the Windows world. Okay? And the computer with no server goes directly on the national server to download it. Okay? Is it clear for everybody? Just to talk about this one, this one is a reverse proxy. Because the, the, our customer asked us to, to, to make um, a solution which is the, the, which use the less bandwidth as possible. Because if you don't use this, you have uh, 90,000 computers go directly on the national uh, server which will go wrong in two minutes. Okay? So, use an Unix server for all the computer. For the administration, need to mirror packages. So in OCS, the, the functionality of redistribution server is well known. Because when you create a package on your OCS server, we can tell the OCS server, okay, this is the packet, and this is all the redistribution server you have on the network, and please, when I activate the, the package, just before activating and deploy the packet, please copy the packet directly on the redistribution server. So the agents never goes there, they always go there to download. But, <coughs> <I'm sorry. coughs> 
the agents only have one URL to, for downloading the, the packet. They download the packet via HTTP, so they only have one name, a few name name, which is uh, OCS. Uh, dot, uh, dot So all the agents have to download the packet on this URL. Then we have to find um, a solution to redirect the connection either on the national server for the, the small network or the local server for the big lab. You see what I mean? So you have to find two tricks. Either use the DNS split solution for a, for a name. We have a name resolution which is different between the, which is different uh, function depends from the IP you're asking for your DNS request, first solution. And you have another solution with a reverse proxy, which is kind of the same way. So if you ask for a HTTP connection, depending your IP, it redirects the HTTP, um, the HTTP net protocol, the HTTP flows directly on the local server. Our customer prefer using the reverse proxy, and we built uh, an Nginx uh, uh, web server with the uh, the reverse proxy, and we have just made a, a two-column uh, file which the name, um, the IP from the the request is made, and the IP where the name uh, goes on the server. Okay. We use also ISS, no, IIS Windows uh, web server and Apache on Linux server to store the packages. As I see, I made uh, just a picture of a package, what is a package in the OCS uh, world. It's just um, a URL with the name of the package. And in this uh, directory, we have an uh, NE4 file. And in the NE4 files, we have all the parts of the package with small size. You can choose the size of the, the small parts. And then in the info files, you have the action, the command, and everything to run on the computer. You see? So it's very easy <coughs> to make a redistribution server because either on the Apache or uh, Windows uh, bullshit, you can have the same directory with the same name. The typology of the package is really important because you can choose the size of, uh, yes. of the package. When you do a package, you can choose the size of your package. Uh, and you can choose as well the latency time between, uh, between the, um, the downloading packets, yes. on, uh, which means uh, you can send uh, big package uh, in a very long time, but you're not using a lot of boundaries. Yes. It's quite important for really small websites, really small sites, or small sites where you have a really small bandwidth, like we talk about 3G for some computers. Yeah. Uh, you need to have very small packets and very big latency. For example, in 3G, we have um, the office, uh, the new office uh, from Microsoft, which is about um, maybe one gigabyte and uh, we have a lot of small parts and the in info file we have checks out of all the parts and when the, the, the agent uh, download all the, the parts it check it checks out everything and rebuild everything and for example um, one gigabyte yeah three genetic networks will download maybe in two weeks but on the night and very few boundaries so it's just perfect but it works. Very long, but it works. <coughs> I can show you. Yes. Yes.
the origin of the connection? The PC makes the request? Yes, always the PC makes the request. And how do the packages get to the proxy? There? Uh -huh. Because the, the, um, the, redis the redistribution uh, server has an agent, an OCS agent, which have a functionality to store the packages. When you... It goes to the main server to get them. Yes. In the main server, you say, uh, I have a package, but before deployed on the computer, I have to do something. Please uh, send the packets to the redistribution server. So the redistribution mean? server connect via the agent, and they know, they know to have a job to do. So they start to download the HTTP, the package, on the, um, and they put them on the root folder of the web, uh, the web server. So the, the agent on the redistribution has the schedule? Yes. It's not, it's not notified by the user. He has the schedule to just check in. There's no notification from the server. There's never notification on the server. Never on the, in right. this side. Always on this side. So schedule on the distribution and schedule on the computer. Yes. And for example, you know, in the oh oh <laughs> okay. Does it support HTTPS? Yes. Yeah. The any four files is always sent via HTTPS because you have the checksum and everything. Oh. You can see at the end of the deployment what is success, what is an error, and what is the notification before the deployment. And you can click there and you have a list of the computer which is okay, which is not okay, and um, what is the problem. Any other questions? You can install everything on one computer. For, yes, for the small uh, companies on the one computer. The computer can be Windows. Can be oh, Windows. it can be Windows. There is but, an installer for Windows, but yes. uh, so it's on Linux. Sorry. Uh, what's our, what's our, what kind of business? Is it English? Uh, it's, it, it, normally it's been uh, built to work on Linux. Yes. Uh, it's, uh, there is a package to install it in uh, an installer for Windows, but uh, honestly it's not very... And it's pretty buggy. It's, it's buggy. Yeah. Uh, and nobody supports it. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody supports it. <laughs> the distribution of the agent, you have, you can uh, run manually the, the executable from the from the computer. From the computer. What are you, what are you the agent. So how do you get it? Oh, you can download it on the uh, OCS website. Oh, so go to the computer, download the agent. From the First solution, yes. the, the, the basic one. Okay. The second solution, you put the the agent you download on, the, uh, for example, the. Uh, Windows share file, and you via a GPO or in your network script, you can download the agent, make a, um, uh, in silent installation, and uh, and that's it. 
and you have a special functionality which if you don't have any uh, active, active directory you can use the, um, the um, a special uh, share on Windows which is IPC dollar uh, with the admin uh, account and you can run the, insta the, the installer of the agent um, like this. Um, RPM, repo, RPM repo, RPM repo on Linux and uh, Debian repo and, and source so code if you need. After you can get, yes, Good. sure, yes. And once the client, the agent is, is running, you can uh, update the agent with the agent. Or you can make some modification of the... Yeah, you can upgrade the first time. Yes. The first time you need to install the agent yourself. All yourself or by GPO. But we have built... Um, there is no solution from OCS <coughs> yet uh, sending the agent if you don't have the agent. Yes, uh, but uh, Azure has worked on the, you know what is Talend? Talend is the ETL solution mm -hmm. and uh, it is running the, via SSH. It's going to SSH, download the agent, running the agent, control is, is everything is okay, mm -hmm. and close the SSH connection. And we have made it on those 1,000 yeah. tablets in uh, maybe one hour. <coughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? No? Does the agent have uh, any listener for monitoring the agent? A listener? Or something you can ask the agent uh, about his health? About his health? The health of the agent. Can you ask oh, no. Oh, ah, no. Do you can only the agent, the, the basic stuff is going maybe one time an hour to check on the OCS server. May I have something to do? You have nothing to do. Did he write the syslog messages? I don't know. The generic log? Yes, generic yeah. log. Yes. That's it. You have a kind of listener because the agent the, the, he asked us if we have a listener for uh, checking on the other computer. Uh, the agent can do uh, SNMP, we call it IP Discover. If you have an agent on the LAN network and no other agent, this agent can scan the network, take all the IP of the, uh, of the other computer and get it to the OCS. But just via SNMP. Not, uh, so you don't have as much information yeah. as an agent when you come to But when you install the agent of a computer. The second time, the OCS will cross the two names of the computer, the first time in uh, SNMP and the second time via the agent, and it just made one entry. You see? C'est quoi l'adresse de notre OCS là OCS pour... Ah tu l'as vu, tu l'as vu, tu l'as vu. Admin Je ne sais pas. Oups. For example, you can hold the, the different OS version for your uh, IT asset. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, audio computer, for example, uh, this one. Uh, yes. And for this computer, we have all the inventory. The processor, the memory, the storage, the disk, I Windows, you, I disk. You, <laughs> video card, the sound card, the network, the controllers, the PCI slots, uh, the USB ports, the keyboards, mouse, CIO ports. We have a tag. The tag is a special function in OCS which we can, um, it's um, the IT administrator which put tags on the, on the computer for uh, and then you can request for, for example, I just want the tag restarting the A and it will give you all the computer with the A in the text. Useful when you have groups or different DI or FDI or business unit or yes. Je vais montrer une requête. C'est pas un truc Non, c'est bon. Mm. Yes. Ah, we can check with Archer for the special. Um, um, the reporting. What? The reporting. Reporting of what? Of the computer. Ah, il m'a plus. What is your question? Yeah. Oh, you have a, a special thing is dynamic groups. With the dynamic groups, we can say uh, create a group with the all computer which have uh, Windows 7 version version one. Okay. And you create a group, a dynamic group, which all the computer in have this feature. Okay. And then, for example, it's very good for the deployment because uh, for instead the of choosing a WSOS server for a date of Windows, for example, if you just want to send some a bit of information, just a bit of updates, you make dynamic groups uh, with information you get from the inventory, uh, for example, Windows 7 version 1, and prepare a special package for this one because you want your network to be uniform. Um, you can do it with everything. I mean, uh, for Microsoft Office, if you have yes. an Office, if you uh, have some, so you can make dynamic groups with uh, every kind of software yes. installed on inventory on the network, and prepare a special package to send to all those dynamic groups. Yes, you can uh, create a packet and assign it to a dynamic group. And uh, for example, if a computer run uh, a new inventory, but which is not in the dynamic group. As soon as he, he goes in the dynamic group, he will have to download the package. So we be pretty sure that every computer will be up to date at all time. <coughs> uh, that's it. Uh, how do you create a packet? So you're deciding it with an in file on your Oh, um, the, the package is basically, uh, you have to take your MSI or exe file or zip file and you have to upload it in the OCS computer, uh, the OCS interface and then he will ask you is it a Windows package or Linux package and he creates a zip file with everything and in the zip file we have all the small parts and the NFO file. Yes. Uh, it will change. Uh, yes. 
where this, uh, one of the improvements in the future transaction uh, 2.3 or maybe just 3.0 it depends on how it works but uh, you, the idea is to be able to make your own package directly in the interface okay. yes. so it will be a lot easier to manage yeah. so if I want to send the shell script it's uh, possible yeah. and it will be easier to test because sometimes we are on large network, we are from uh, IT manager, we make big mistakes because they create a, a package, a package, sorry, and uh, try to deploy on one computer, but they miss something and they deploy on every computer. And it's pretty worse sometimes. If you have done a time installation, can you cancel it? Yes, we have, um, we can make, um, Deployment package which kills the other deployment. Okay. Yes. It just uh, uh, removes the, the first um, okay. small parts. Yeah. 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 It's a bit tricky, but yeah. Yeah. maybe it comes out, he can save more life. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.